Hi, I'm Jody, and I'm here today with Hussein and his lovely family. We've got Sophia, Sahith, and Audrey, and they're all going to work on making some Colombian sweet bread, which in Spanish is? We call it uh, alineado bread. Okay, so now what are we going to do? Well, we're going to start making the dough for the bread. Mm -hmm. We're making a volcano, and... Wait a minute, a volcano? Uh, we call it that. <laughs> That's fun. And you have to make sure that the bottom of the plate touches the table. So who's going to help me out with the um, butter and all the ingredients inside the volcano? Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. You know what to do, Audrey? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So just start mixing here. So you call it a volcano. Did you invent that term for this? This is the way we communicate each other, so we know that uh, when we talk about the volcano, we are going to put a lot of stuff inside. Do you think your mom would have taught you this, like called it that too? Definitely. Yeah? Yes. Do you remember that? <laughs> yeah. When I was a child, like maybe like her, she was just making a lot of bread and, okay, get ready the volcano, so we came to have fun <laughs> around. It around the, yeah, totally. That's very cool. How's it feel on your hands, Audrey? Fine. You like that feeling? Yeah. I'm going to help the volcano not to erupt yet. <laughs> I think it yeah. is erupting. Just inside in the center, please, guys. Just your fingers again. <laughs> I think the fingers are long gone. Okay. This so, is a perfect activity yeah. for kids, though, because it keeps them busy. Yeah, it keeps the family together. So yeah, it's well, very healthy. Teamwork. Yeah, it's a teamwork, a lot of teamwork. So right now I'm gonna jump into the dough. We believe that the secret in this bread is to um, knee at least 15 minutes. So you'll do ingredients. this literally for 15 minutes. 15 minutes, we have to do it. So this is the dad part of the job. Uh, yeah, this is the, the toughest <laughs> work I have to do here, like 15 minutes exercising my muscles <laughs> to make sure that we are going to have a very good bread. And so do you think it's meaningful that the kids get to see their dad do some of the cooking? I think it's good in terms of how they learn about values, about being uh, part of a family. Sometimes we disagree about something and we just share it, try to try something else or reach an agreement. Are there any fights? Tell the truth. Sometimes. So how do you work that out? Um, sometimes we play a steering contest. Saeed is the champ! Okay, so now we've cut the bread up into many pieces. What's going to happen next? So now we're going to show you three different ways that we can make the bread. Sophia, what's your way? Well, we call it the braid. So we cross one over, we keep crossing over, and then we put it on the tray. Okay. And then? One with guava paste and yes. the other one with cheese. Then you roll it up here. It's important to close the ends and that way the cheese is not going to get out of the bread. Okay. So this one's Sahith's way? Yeah. Okay, so what are we going to do? You start rolling it up. Mm-hmm. And it gets higher. Like a snail. Yeah. And when you make it to this point, you have to stick it. And then, yeah, that's how you make one. Now we are going to put the bread in the oven uh, for 20 minutes. Okay, so pan alineado? Pan alineado, yes. Okay, Sophia, can you cut a little piece for me? I want to try. Grab that, yeah. Very good. Good mm. job, team. And they look gorgeous, too. Yeah. Thanks, guys. 
Now I know how to make something new. I can make it home with my family. Thank you for coming. Always welcome. <laughs>